welcome to the super fun puppet science spectacular show! Look at that thing spin, 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 spin! Ha ha ha! A show where we do super cool science stuff together! Oh ho ho ho! And we have a great show for you tonight. I'd like to welcome today's guest. We spare no expense. Actually, we don't spend any kind of expense. <laughs> a real life, bona fide Stegosaurus! Come on down. Where is he? What, what, what was that, Mr. Stego? I can't fit through the door. Oh, no, Mr. Stego, I'm so sorry. Oh, we forgot how big you are. Hey, kids, did you know that a stegosaurus was 26 to 30 feet long? And about nine feet tall, they weighed about 6,800 pounds. Wow. That's right. Gosh, I'm afraid our door is just too small. Do you mind being our guest uh, outside, uh, just camping out there, buddy? It's a bit chilly, but all right. Oh, you're a champ there, Stego. Uh, can someone uh, get our guest a blanket with a 800,000 thread count? Tell her. What? Huh? What? <laughs> Kids, it's time for What's in the Mystery Box! <gasps> Whoa, it just appeared like magic! or science. <laughs> what's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Oh, uh, I know what's in the box. I do, I do, I do. Well, what is it? Guess. Uh, hmm. Banana. No, 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 no. I'll give you a hint. Oh. It's white, but sometimes this thing can be yellow or, or even black. Yuck. Hmm, let's think about that and uh, come back to it, okay? Now it's time for Socratica Kids Question of the Day. We answer questions about science. That's right, you. How, how can you ask us a question? Have a grown-up help type a question in the comment section below about anything you wonder about the world. Uh, you know, about the sea, outer space, animals, nature, uh, whether uh, Topher is a noodle head. <laughs> anything about science, and we'll answer it. Now let's get to today's question. Take it away, Dr. Fox. It's my turn? Uh, <clears throat> Today's Socratica Kids question of the day is from Daisy, age four, who lives in Providence, Rhode Island. Daisy asks, what does the word dinosaur mean? That's a great question. You're right, Stego, that is a great question. The word dinosaur comes from the Greek language. Greek is spoken by many people who live in Greece, a country far from our studio here in Los Angeles. It would take a 15 hour plane ride to get to Greece from Los Angeles. The word dinosaur is a combination of two Greek words, dinos meaning terrible and saurus meaning lizard. So the word means terrible lizard. <laughs> lizard? I find that offensive. Well, Stego, Sir Richard Owen, the man who created the term, didn't mean to say you were terribly awful. He meant to say terrible as in impressive. Awesome! <laughs> then why not call dinosaurs awesome sores? Well, Stego, it was a different time. Terrible had a different meaning back in 1842 when Sir Richard Owen came up with the famous name 
dinosaur. That was a long time ago. It would be hard to change the name now. Okay. Well, glad you're okay with that, Stego. We don't want to upset our guests. That was a great question, Daisy. I look forward to receiving more questions from all of you. Please, leave your questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to tell us your name, age, and where you're from. Bye! Oh, what's in there? Oh, I'm still thinking about what's in the mystery box. Huh. It's white, but sometimes it can be yellow or black. Yuck! Ah. <gasps> I know! I know! It's an onion! <laughs> no! It's much heavier than an onion. Yuck! Mm, tofu! Uh, all right, you know what? Let's move on to the big word of the day. Leonard! <laughs> Leonard! Where are you? Le are you in the box, Leonard? Are you in the little froggy? That's nonsense. Leonard! Huh? Ah, I'm coming! Ah, sorry! Oh, 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 you scared me! I was sleeping. Ah, all right, well, do your thing. Okay. Hey, kids! Today's big word of the day is enormous! Oh! <laughs> of the day, uh, enormous. Wow, good job, enormous. <laughs> Today we have a big word, an enormous guest. I think we need a big science experiment. <laughs> well, uh, take it away, scientist Charlie. <sighs> What's in there? Hello, children. Today's big science experiment is finding Fossils! Fossils are the remains of ancient animals and plants. They are traces or impressions of living things from, from past geological ages. Ancient animals like our guest Stegosaurus left behind clues for us to find and learn more about him and his dino family. <laughs> If you want to play along and find your own fossils, all you need is a small box or Tupperware container, dirt or sand, a paintbrush, and some small toys. Itty bitty toys. <laughs> wow, look at that magic. <laughs> Did you get your supplies? Great. If not, you can watch me. All right, here we go. For those playing along, place your toys in the container and cover it with dirt. Cover them all the way up. That's right, it's fun. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Oh, sorry, poster. All right, let's get our brush. Yeah. All right, now get your brush. It's time to find fossils. We're going to pretend the toys are fossils. Fossils are underground, just waiting to be discovered. How do scientists find fossils? Here's one technique. Take your brush and gently brush the top layer of the dirt. Slowly keep brushing until you find the top of your toy. Let's go. All right. Come on, there we go. Oh, oh, I found 
one. I found one deep in there. Look, look at that. Oh, did you, did you find one? It's a slow process, but many scientists called paleontologists do this. Here are some fossils paleontologists found by brushing through lots and lots of dirt. Wow, it's a dinosaur. Da na 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 na. Pretty neat, huh? Uh, doing this experiment is great practice into becoming a paleontologist. A uh, great work, kids. You can also do this in a backyard or at a park. Just ask a grown-up first. Back to you, Crump! Come on, dinosaur! Wah! Mwah! Leonard, get over here! We need you again! Ugh, oh, you scared me again! Oh. Sorry, I was having a snack. No one cares. Oh. Ugh. Well, kids, our brains sure are uh, fired up with big ideas. So let's play a game. It's time for... Bigger or, or smaller! smaller. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'll name two nouns. That's a person, place, or thing. And Crump is going to guess what's bigger and what's smaller. You try to figure it out before him. <laughs> okay, here we go. A ladybug and a mouse. Which one is bigger? Hmm. That's a tough one. Both are teeny tiny, and they're smaller than me. A ladybug and a mouse. Hmm. True, but one is bigger than the other. Hmm. I think the ladybug is bigger than the mouse. Uh, no, nope. the mouse is bigger than the ladybug. <laughs> Oopsie. And they're just both so teeny tiny. Give me another one. Okay. A mouse and a dog. What kind of dog? Any. Uh, but uh, what if it's like a chihuahua? You know, like I'm a chihuahua. I'm sure. Just guess. Um, let's say, uh, I'm going to say dog. That's right. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Did I win the car? There, there's no car, Crump. No. Well, uh, give me another comparison. OK. A dog and a stegosaurus. That's me. That's right, Stego. And this one is easy. Uh, uh, because I know a dog can fit into the studio, but Stego can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stego. Uh, I say the Stegosaurus is bigger. That's right. Great job, Crump. And great job, everyone. What a fun game. <laughs> and that's the super fun Puppet Science Spectacular. <laughs> but before we go, we must know what's in the box. Hmm, so it's white, but sometimes yellow or black. Yuck! And it's harder than an onion. Oh, is it a skull? No, but you're getting closer. It's part of a skull. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. We give up. We give up! Tell us! Tell us! Oh. Please! It's... A Stegosaurus too. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> a Stegosaurus has leaf-shaped teeth. Uh, great for eating leaves. Stegosaurus are vegetarians, which means they don't eat meat. <laughs> That's right. I love my veggies. Me too, Stego. Yeah! <laughs> so neat. Well, thanks for joining us today, kids. And thank you for being our guest, Stegosaurus. No problem. Hopefully next time, you'll have a bigger door. <laughs> we hope so, too. Kids, we look forward to having you come back for more science fun. Be sure to leave a question you have about science in the comment section below. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, there's science all around us. <laughs> 
Spin, spin, spin! I'm gonna go finish my snack. Okay, have fun. Just me and you, Spinny. Yeah? <sighs>